Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. November 26, 2019, the Uber loses its license again edition. First up, from the Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, a British subsidiary of Alston SA, the French train maker, was ordered to pay $21.2 million in a corruption case involving the supply of trains at Tunisia. The fine stemmed from a 2018 conviction of Alstom Network on corruption charges involved in the payment of bribes to secure a transportation contract in Tunisia. The British subsidiary paid £2.4 million pounds through an intermediary to secure a contract with Trans2, a company that runs Tunis Metro, according to the SFO. The contract itself was worth a reported £79.9 million. Pounds. Alstom sidestepped internal control checks by falsifying paperwork to show evidence of services rendered by the intermediary, according to the SFO. The intermediary, however, was used to funnel bribes. This SFO fine brings to an end a decade-long corruption case that has resulted in the conviction of three executives and a separate subsidiary of Alstom Power. Next up, Petrofac uh, has been identified as one of the companies in the Alstom's Brothers criminal information. A Petrofact executive, as reported by The Telegraph, is accused of keeping fake accounts to disguise bribes. The um, company, which is headed by Major Tory, uh, that's the party and power donor, has been under investigation for some time by the Serious Fraud Office. However, there have been accusations that because he is such a large donor, the SFO has dragged its feet. Now, it appears that um, the firm has been identified and is under investigation by the SFO. Petrofac has previously stated that no charges have been brought against any of its current or company employees since the SFO started its investigation. Uh, Over in the United States, the Wall Street Journal reports that the former high-flying startup health outcome uh, (coughs) Uh, has been charged with over $1 billion in fraud, specifically the former CEO and former president of the company, uh, along with previous finance chief, have all been charged by the Department of Justice. The case was sparked by a 2017 Wall Street Journal report that the company had misled some customers with inflated data and fake reports. The indictments charged the Uh, three with multiple counts of mail and wire fraud and one count of bank fraud. The SEC also sued the three former executives alleging they uh, committed, rather, civil securities fraud. The lawyer, of course, said uh, for the defendants, said that they look forward to clearing their name. But then again, that's what they always say when charged. Uh, Finally, Uber is in the news once again, and this is once again for nothing good as they have lost their license uh, to operate taxis in the city of London. Um, The decision, although a surprise, is not to extend its operating license because of persistent safety concerns, throwing into question whether the company can continue to operate in the um, European market. The legal process is quite long in, in London and the UK, so Uber can continue to operate during that time. But the news adds to a difficult year, for Uber, which had a very disappointing IPO in May. Since that time, it's experienced significant executive turnover and had several rounds of layoffs. The Transportation for London, which regulates taxi and private hire services, said Uber did not meet the fit and proper standard necessary to uh, hold a taxi license in the city of London. Obviously, this is uh, very bad news. Uber previously had lost its license once and uh, was able to make a comeback, but um, with this, uh, this is a very serious uh, charge, and whether Uber can make a comeback from this uh, remains to be seen. The European market is seen as critical for Uber because they're basically tapped out in the United States. They can't really grow anymore. So overseas markets are where they're going to have their uh, greatest amount of growth. But the company, once again, uh, just seems to sh- continually shoot itself in the foot, even with new and committed management. So we'll certainly watch this and report any developments which occur. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio.